Alright, so um, we're now at the point where I'm getting ready to put the shield together. So I have a number of components. Uh, I got the shield, which we saw earlier. I um, also have um, some uh, breakaway headers. Um, these are going to plug into the bottom of the shield and enable it to connect to the Arduino. Um, I put a resistor network. I may actually have to snip one of the pins off of this according to the instructions. Um, I'm not sure which one yet. I'll have to take a look, but um, you have to make sure it's not the wrong one. So I bought two just in case because I usually screw up stuff like that. Um, then I have three of these uh, 0.01 um, UF capacitors. Uh, I got a 10 UF capacitor as well. And um, I've got my three different uh, uh, IC sockets that we're going to use to solder onto the board. And then finally, the, uh, the two headers, which um, we're going to use to connect the working table at some point. So um, one of the other things too is I was just looking at the instructions and I thought I needed like a 24.5k resistor. Um, you have to choose a resistor that will protect the uh, MAC7219 um, chip and um, it says on the board to use uh, 20k but um, really it depends on the kind of LEDs you're using. So based on the chart for the MAX7219 it'll tell you what kind of um, resistor you should use and it says you should always go higher. So um, I calculated for the um, kind of LEDs I have, I think they're 3.3 volt um, and 20 milliamp. Um, I think I said I needed to go to a 24.5k resistor, but um, I couldn't find one of those, so um, I have these 27k resistors, so I'm going to use one of those because it said it's always better to go higher than lower. So um, that's that, so I'm going to start soldering this thing together. Coming from the top. So uh, got all the sockets soldered on very nicely. Um, uh, now I'm looking at the resistor network. Um, now the way this thing's set up, again you're supposed to clip off one of the pins and um, it says pin 10, but uh, it doesn't really give you any more instructions on that. So um, based on the picture I'm seeing, it looks like they're looking at the resistor network from the back because there's no uh, no lettering of any kind on it. So um, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure the pins go from uh, uh, left to right, um, so I'll need to clip off the pin at the back here, but I'm going to do a little research on that online to make sure that's the right move. Yeah, so just to confirm, a uh, little research online, and in fact, um, if this is the side with the lettering on, uh, the pins do go uh, from left to right, numbered 1 to N, so uh, the 10th pin will be the one furthest away from the dot there on the, uh, the far left-hand side, so that's the one I'm going to clip off and uh, see what happens. Okay, so I've clipped off uh, that extra pen, and um, one of the things I noticed on the board here that's nice is uh, I'll actually tell you over here um, that pin 1 goes in here so you know which way to put the resistor network around. So, um, again, the, uh, the missing pin on the end here. Um, it's a little different. Alright, so uh, hopefully you can see that there's a, the side that's facing you has the lettering on, so um, it's the one furthest to the right that's been clipped off. And, um, Based on where pin 1 is on the board, um, that means this will go um, this way. So the, uh, the missing pin will be uh, over on this side over here. So hopefully that's useful. Alright, so the uh, unspread shield's coming along nicely. Um, just putting the capacitors in, you can see uh, I've got one here and another one here. Um, 
there's another one that goes on the end here as well and um, those are all ceramic there's also this uh, electrolytic capacitor um, if you look on the on switch shield hopefully you guys can see this um, it's actually a spot here where it shows you where the negative should go because electro electrolytics have to be a certain way around um, so the uh, the spot with the minus symbol that's where the gray stripe goes but in the case of it's the uh, the negative so I'm gonna go ahead and solder those in and as you can see I've got the resistor network in and you can see that the missing pin is on this bit over here so uh, that's that Unsped shield. Um, only thing that's missing is the uh, putting the uh, strips along the back there with the uh, the other hose so that it can plug into the Arduino. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But uh, yeah, look, looks pretty good. So this is my uh, Arduino uh, Duomilo Nove that I got from 360 Flex, and um, this is the one I'm going to be ultimately mounting the shield on. Now you can see from the pin configuration along the top and the bottom here, um, there's a set of pins, and if you're unfamiliar with how shields are set up, um, you'll notice that the pin configuration on the sides of um, the circuit board are the same. And the idea is that the um, these two boards are compatible with each other, so that uh, this one can just kind of sit on top of the other. And you'll see as I pull this away, the pin configurations are the same. So uh, that's how this works, just kind of slides in on top. And um, although this, sh this uh, Arduino will end up being permanently embedded inside my um, my Arduino, um, you know, in theory, uh, the idea with shields is that you can make lots of different types and then you can plug them in and pull them out as you see fit. So, I mean, if I wanted to detach this, I could unscrew it and pull this out and put it back in again when I wanted to. Um, the uh, Arduinos, if you don't get one for free like I was lucky enough to do, um, you can buy them for like 20 to 30 bucks online. Just keep a lookout. Um, and uh, there's some kits also where you can build um, or do we know compatible boards? Um, just make sure if you're going to use an unsped shield that you use one that has the same kind of pin configuration so you can uh, get these to plug into each other. Um, although I have seen people also for lower profile cases instead of sitting one on top of the other, um, they'll just run cables from uh, the side to that side and the side to that side to uh, make the connections. So either way, whatever suits you for uh, whatever your needs are. And so now you can see I haven't soldered them yet, but. Um, this is a case where, instead of soldering on the back of the PCB, I'm going to solder to the top here. Uh, if I pull these apart, you can see I've got all the headers plugged into the Arduino board. Um, these come out very easily, just give them a tug. And now you get a separate piece, so I'm going to take all these out and uh, solder them onto the unsped PCB. And um, once it's done, it will all fit together very nicely. A bit of a hard time here, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to put solder along the top here and along the top here, and uh, that'll make the shield. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've still got the ribbon cable and some other components to build, but uh, for the unsped shield, uh, it's just that and then plugging in the um, the uh, integrated circuits into the sockets once those are uh, all ready to go. All right, so there we go, all sorted together. And uh, plugs in beautifully. And uh, so I guess I'll put the chips in now and um, that'll be the shield finished. So really at this point all i got left is uh, to do the wiring on the button boards and uh, get the ribbon cable hooked up and um, I need to flash the uh, Arduino with uh, the firmware that it needs to be able to run to run the Arduino. Um, so I'm gonna do that as well. So uh, I'll just keep on going here. 
All right, so there it is. All the ICs are put on, and uh, it is all ready to go. I'm uh, getting pretty excited now. This is going to be really cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish tonight, but uh, one way or the other, it's really cool having the uh, the shield put together. So um, uh, one thing to notice, there's uh, what looks like a unused set of um, uh, openings here. This is for uh, a breakout board. I'm, I'm actually really not sure what to do with this. I haven't seen anyone make use of this. Um, some people just snap it off right here. Um, I think um, there's no traces that go from the uh, the main circuit board to this, so I think what you typically do is, is wire connections and then, then you can put your um, your Hadoos here instead. Um, but honestly, I, like I said, I'm, I'm really not sure. I haven't seen anyone use it. But um, unless they get in the way in my case, I'm just going to leave them where they are because uh, I don't really see any need to break it off. So um, what's that?